batteries and you we depend a lot on batteries cars and buses will not start without them mobile phones laptops cameras headphones iPods etc they all need batteries all batteries contain two solid substances of different reactivity and an electrolyte this flow out of the battery is an electric current in here the more reactive substance which gives the electron is called negative pole or negative electrode or negative terminal is the same the simple cell is the simplest battery of all but it's not very practical you could not use it in church for example it does not have enough voltage to start a car 5 volts battery for example so you need other types of batteries so when does a battery die a battery dies when the reaction stop car battery a car battery consists of plates of lead and lead four oxides standing in a solution of sulfuric acid this is what happens the lead plate reacts with the sulfuric acid giving lead to sulfate lead solid plus sulfuric acid aqueous solution which gives lead sulfate plus hydrogen plus two electrons the lead to sulfate coats the plate step number two the electrons go off through the wire as an electric current it gets the car's starter motor working step number three the electrons flow back through the wire to the lead fork side plate this is also reacts with the acid to form lead to sulfate here is the lead oxide okay solid plus the acid in this case is sulfuric acid aqua solution plus hydrogen plus two electrons which gives lead sulfate solid and water in fact the car battery usually has six set of plates linked together giving a total voltage of 12 so these plates in a car battery they are separated by a plastic container so how to recharge the car battery uh, first of all we have to know that when the car is running the plates are being coated with lead to sulfate and the sulfuric acid is being used up so if it runs for long the battery will stop working or go flat but needs to run for only a short time to start the car and then something clever happens electricity generated by the motor causes the reaction to reverse this means that the lead to sulfite on the blade is converted back to lead and lead for oxide ready for the next time so what about these guys a lithium iron battery a lithium iron batteries are rechargeable you can recharge them uh, so they are used in laptops mobile phones and iPads this battery is made up of tin sheets of lithium cobalt oxide and graphite which is carbon so the electrolyte is a solution of lithium salt in an organic solvent this is how the battery works when it's charging the graphite becomes negative and attract lithium ions from the lithium cobalt oxide so when it's being used the lithium ion flow back to lithium cobalt oxide and electrons flow from the graphite to power your cell so your calls and texts 
depend on those lithium ion moving. Remember that the next time you use your mobile phone. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give a like and don't forget to subscribe for more.